Hi guys and welcome to Alcan ADV. Today we're going to continue the review series I've been kind of going on uh, on motorcycle gear, stuff for riders and all that. This week we're going to take a look at a pair of earbuds that I found really useful uh, under my helmet on the trip. Anyway, we'll get into that right after this. So these are the uh, J Labs J Buds Pro earbuds and uh, they're in ear earbuds with uh, the little button that controls the phone calls but they don't have the volume buttons they have a mic and a phone call button so real quick I want to go over the earbuds that I tried before I found these um, I tried a pair of uh, the plug phones um, earbud ear plug earphones and I got the kind with the buttons on it to where you could you know take the call or, or turn the volume up and down and they work fine they're they sound good um, Eventually, after, after wearing them uh, a little while, probably like three or four hours, they start hurting, at least for me. Um, but this may be something that all earbuds would do after you wear them for a while. Um, even with these, you wear them all day for a few days straight and my ears would get sore and I'd have to stop wearing them for a day or two and, and just kind of air my ears out. So the plug phones come with two uh, ear pieces. There's a foam set and then there's a rubber set. And the foam set is more comfortable, uh, but the rubber set seems like it has better sound quality. I ended up using the rubber set because it's a little easier to put in. Uh, the foam you have to roll like a regular foam earplug and stick in there and it's, it's a little bit hard. Um, but again, the rubber um, eventually would start hurting in my ears. So I'm not sure if if I used the foam ones, uh, it would hurt less or what. Why I ended up not using the plug phones was that uh, they go in your ear like this and there's like half an inch of the thing that sticks out of your ear. And there was just no way I was gonna get my helmet on over top of those and so they would just drag the plugs right out of my ears. So that didn't even work uh, right from the get-go. If you're not wearing a helmet, they sound great, they work great, they block a lot of noise. Um, but under a helmet, they just didn't work, at least not for me. The second pair of earplugs I tried was actually a pair that Everride recommended. Um, he got them on Amazon. Well, so did I, obviously. Um, they're about $15, and they're very small. Uh, they're kind of like this, except they don't have the little wing that goes back into your ear. And, uh, and they're a little, you know, rubberized plug, and it just pretty much sticks right into your ear. It's pretty much flush, and, uh, and they work well. They, the sound quality is excellent, uh, and they're, they're marketed as sleep earbuds. Um, this is great. Only problem I had with those was they ended up falling out. I couldn't get them to stay in my ear. The other thing I used was just the regular Apple earbuds, uh, you know, the, the white kind that kind of hooks on your ear and hangs down. And they worked okay. Uh, only problem with them is they don't cancel very much noise. They have excellent sound quality, the Apple earbuds do, and sometimes I would wear them uh, just to listen to music, but if I wanted to uh, talk on the phone, say, <laughs> they didn't work very well because I couldn't hear well enough. So that was, uh, I could turn the music up loud enough to where I could just blare it, but on the phone it didn't work that way. I think that's all the pairs that I had before I had these. Um, and like I said, I got these on the trip, during the trip. The rest of them I had bought before the trip. I took them all on it because I don't know why. These have worked really well. They do block noise, they block quite a bit of noise. I actually have used them um, in building the cabin here uh, in place of ear protection sometimes if I want to listen to music. They do work and they have blocked enough sound that I feel comfortable running a saw or, or doing something that I would need ear protection for um, and, and my ears are safe. So as far as sound quality, um, it's great as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I'm no audiophile, but I like my music. Um, these have a good resonant bass in them, which is missing in a lot of earbuds, uh, and I was really grateful for that. The rest of it, I don't know. I can compare them to the others I've tried, and there are always little bitty differences, but overall, they're all pretty much the same. They're really close. Uh, the only thing is, like with the Apple earbuds, or the kind that hangs down in the bottom of your ear, they won't block noise. So if you're looking for sound canceling, you got to have at least something with a rubber part that sticks into your ear. 
Anyway, other than that, these things have been really great. Uh, you can get them at Walmart, they're $10, uh, and it's one of the best $10 you're going to spend if you like music on a motorcycle. Anyway, hope this vid helps somebody. Um, I know I had a big time uh, problem trying to find the right pair of earbuds on a motorcycle, so um, I'm sure there's somebody else out there with the same idea. Anyway, you guys ride safe, and uh, take care, and we'll see you next week.